Hey, what's going on guys? It's Unstable here, and I have another story for you guys. And I'm just gonna do this one right after the last one I did, so it's in the same game. Um, I'm only doing this because I know I will forget if I don't do this. Like, I would normally do it <coughs> on the day because it gives, it gives me, like, a purpose. It makes me feel accomplished that day. But I'm just gonna do this one pre-day, like, the day before this is getting upload and that's only because i don't want to forget um so today's story is how i snuck out of my friend's house and oh this is a funny one actually um so i was at my friend connor's house we were just chilling not doing much it was really like two in the morning we got bored everyone was still up because his family is like really crazy and they stayed up late and we were like I'm gonna say nine when this happened, so we were just little savages. And so, what happens is we decide to sneak out and go walk around the neighborhood. And we knew many people in this neighborhood. Connor was good friends with most of them. So Connor knew a lot of these guys. His dad was friends with them. And, um, so this is actually really funny. Um, I've said that a lot. So we snuck out and we we have a bar in town. So we're walking by the bar and we just hear gunshots just out of nowhere, just gunshots, boom, boom. And they're very close. We think they came from the bar and it was just really scary. And so we instantly start running after we hear those gunshots. And we see a person on the side of their street. It's two in the morning. She's walking her dog. I I kid you not. They were walking their dog at 2 o'clock in the morning. And that's what really set up. Sorry, guys. My brother walked in on me. So, um, that sounded really weird. My brother walked in, and he just starts talking to me like an idiot. Um, so, I, where I was at is we were hearing gunshots, and... This lady starts walking her dog this, at 2 in the morning, yeah. And after that, we're just sprinting all the way back home. And we we actually see Connor's parents looking for us and yelling our name and stuff outside at 2. And <laughs> this was actually so scary. We hid behind a tree and actually started to try sneaking back into the house. And we got, like... Okay, <laughs> how am I going to say this without sounding like the biggest nerd ever? Um, I basically yell, I say, we're over here, because, like, I don't want to get in any trouble with his mom, but, like, I, yeah, I'm basically the buzzkill. I'm the biggest nerd in the world, and I just scream over here, and <laughs> I get him grounded for a week, which I feel really bad about, but, I mean, I don't know why I did it. I was nine, I didn't know like what else to do like i was like one of them kids who cried in preschool because uh, on the first day because my mom was gone like you know the little nerds yeah those guys i was one of them for a while but yeah i actually end up staying there and we actually end up walking the freeway and going to my house again which was like a mile we walked to get to my house to get some pop and uh, I mean that could be another story walking on the freeway because that's kind of what we did and we were really stupid um so yeah that's what we did and I mean I don't have much else to say it was just a really scary experience for me and it was it was really weird so I have some more stories if you guys liked them always Drop a like, it would make me know that you actually do care. So, <coughs> yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.